It was cold for an August morning. I hadn't really slept in two days, but I also hadn't really done anything but sleep for two days. It's a long train ride from Minnesota to Washington, but the view is worth it. Seriously, if you've never taken the train anywhere, do it. It was about 4.30 when I met Randy. Randy had unicorn leggings on and the greenest eyes I had ever seen. We watched the sunrise together, both waiting for the number two bus. I didn't know where he was going. I didn't need to. He kept thanking her for this beautiful morning. I finally asked who she was, and he simply said, God. And I said, how do you know God's a woman? <laughs> he looked at me confused and said, well, because I've met her. I learned more from Randy in that 30 minutes I knew him than I have ever learned in my four years at an institution. Randy taught me that day that life isn't about accomplishments, it's about connections. This train brought me to a boat, which brought me to a bus, which brought me to my favorite place in the world, Holden Village. I'd been coming here since I was a little kid with my family, and it was the first place that I truly began to understand what community meant. Community is about give and take. If we only take, the community will collapse. If we only give, we will lose our sense of purpose. Community is about finding balance. So I spent my entire life trying to find that balance and how I can give back to the community that has given me so much. Because I'm a member of this society, I have an obligation to commit my resources and privileges to the benefit of the whole community. I volunteered at Holden for a month. Although my work history is usually in childcare, I was placed in the kitchen and was absolutely terrified. Now, I love to cook, but I'd never cooked in a real kitchen before, unless you count Dairy Queen when I was 16. But that month sparked a passion that I never knew I had. I'd been studying sustainability, but I never knew where I fit into the big picture. Picking fresh mint from the garden for a tomato mint vinaigrette made me realize the interconnectedness between people and the planet starts on the small scale. I realized I could intersect my passions for cooking, sustainability, and community engagement. My coursework through the Community Engaged Scholars Program introduced me to so many different opportunities to make a difference. I completed an internship through Minnesota WasteWise where I was able to learn a deeper understanding of organics recycling and food waste. And I was able to get proper recycling bins for my home church and other churches in the surrounding area. I learned a lot from this experience, but my background in speech and advocating for change made me realize that my passion was working on the ground with community members. I started working for Clean Water Action and was able to speak individually with people about ethical food sourcing and advocating for legislative changes in environmental protections. In the midst of planning a fundraiser for Clean Water Action, COVID-19 hit, halting all plans of canvassing and public events. Although I was discouraged and afraid of the future like the rest of the world, I knew I couldn't sit back and watch people suffer. I had a car, I had a kitchen, pretty good health, and way too much free time on my hands. I started delivering meals to students who received free or reduced price lunches. I began then preparing and delivering meals to these families once a week. But as I browsed through the cub food aisles, I kept thinking about that tomato mint vinaigrette. There had to be a way that I could provide families with healthy, sustainable meals at the lowest cost possible. The church needed help with their community garden, so I created signs for the garden and flyers to help spread awareness. Having access to high quality produce is one thing, but understanding where it comes from is another. Food insecurity is the unspoken plague of this pandemic. Thousands of people are unsure of where their next meal will come from, and that is a basic human right we cannot afford to neglect, considering 60% of all food produced is wasted. Unfortunately, food insecurity and housing insecurity is deeply intertwined, and thousands of unhoused neighbors go hungry every night. These residents are constantly harassed by police and fear evictions daily. The last thing they should be worried about is a hot meal. I've been volunteering with the St. Paul Camps Hub and Freedom for the Streets, delivering meals and supplies to residents. Homelessness is a complex issue, but the day-to-day -day activities to make someone's life a little bit easier is simple. 
So show up, get involved, donate, volunteer, contribute to your community in any way you can because we cannot do this work alone. We need the community the same way the community needs us. Life is made up of moments and it's these connections that keep us all working towards creating a better world.